Mold and mildew near hand washing sinks, flies near a vat of pickles, ants traveling down a wall. Just a few of the violations inspectors found at a Virginia plant tied to the largest listeria outbreak in more than a decade. And the CDC now says at least nine people have died. Dozens more have been hospitalized. CBS News correspondent Elaine Quijano is following the latest for us. Elaine, pretty disturbing. What else did inspectors find there and how is the company responding? Yeah, eye-opening indeed. Uh, well, Lindsay, our colleague Alex Tin out of Washington has been probing what happened at that Jarrett, Virginia plant ahead of the Listeria outbreak. And newly released records obtained by him for CBS News show that U.S. Department of Agriculture inspectors, in addition to what you mentioned, also discovered uh, things like a number of issues with leaking and pooling water, a puddle found to have, quote, green algal growth inside and condensation that was found to be dripping over product being held. A uh, number of records, as you mentioned, uh, discussed the sighting of insects in and around deli meats, including one instance that prompted the agency to tag more than 980 pounds of ham in a smokehouse, smokehouse hallway to be retained for an investigation. All in all, we are talking about nearly 70, so 69 violations documented according to this uh, newly obtained set of information uh, that Alex Tin was able to get. And what it paints is a picture of uh, numerous kinds of instances with cleanliness issues at that Jarrett, Virginia plant. Now, Boar's Head, as a result of this listeria outbreak, has recalled more than 7 million pounds of deli meat. And in a statement, a spokesperson said, quote, food safety is our absolute priority, adding that the team immediately addressed all issues that inspectors raised. But one open question is whether or not Boar's Head is going to be facing any kind of penalties uh, from the USDA for repeat issues. At this point, we have posed that question to USDA officials. We are waiting to hear back. But according to uh, reports published by USDA itself, so far, there have not been any records of enforcement actions taken against the company in the past year. And, Lindsay, that is the same time frame approximately where these nearly 70, so 69 violations have been discovered. Mm. Wow. All right. Elaine, thank you so much.